Hello everyone, it's Karen here from Stamping with Karen Spreckley and welcome back to my blog and YouTube channel for another Monday video. Today's video um, project is going to be this uh, little 3D project. It's a really, really cute little gift box with a, an interesting kind of aperture type opening. Um, it uses designer series paper, it uses um, cardstock and the finished measurements are two inches by two inches by one inch. And it just closes up like this and it reminds me a little bit of a camera aperture um, this project I first saw this created by um, crafty Caroline creates I think is her is her YouTube channel um, and I've adjusted it a little bit for my own measurements um, it's a cute little size it'd hold a tea light it'd hold a couple of little sweets maybe a, a small lip balm something like that I just thought it was really interesting the closure that it made and you don't really need any fancy pieces of equipment to make it um, just a trimmer and um, a circle punch so I'm used you stumble stumble I've made these projects using the 2019-2021 ink colours from Stamping Up. So I've got four of them here and we're going to make one today in the fifth colour. So we've got um, terracotta tile, we've got seaside spray, we've got pretty peacock and we've got um, purple posy. And this one here is Rococo Rose and that's the one we're going to make today. So I shall just pull up my chair grab my paper trimmer and away we go. So as usual all of the products that I'm using are Stampin' Up products, they are available to purchase through me and the links to all of those products are in the description bar underneath this video. There are also links there to my various other social media bits and pieces where you can find out about all the things I do and the things I like to create and the kind of things that I get up to with my crafty world. Okay so We'll start with a piece of the in colour designer series paper. I have used this paper on a couple of other projects previously. Um, it's great, it comes in all of our colour families and it's six by six and there are um, two double sided designs in each of the colours. So we've got a kind of Moroccan style with a script on this one and there is a, let's have a think, it's a scripty design with a, a gingham, no that's a scripty. It's a gingham design with a uh, diamond design on the other one. Anyway, enough waffling on. So I've got my Stampin' Up trimmer here. This is the new one. Isn't available to customers yet. If you wanted to get your mitts on one of these, you would need to be a demonstrator. Uh, message me if you want to know all about that. But these will be available to customers in the not too distant future. And I have to say, I am very impressed. It's made a very good replacement for the old one. So designer series paper. I'm going to cut that at four inches by four inches and I'm going to cut my cardstock so this is coordinating cardstock in exactly the same colour I'm going to cut that just ever so slightly shy of the four inch mark so it's one notch down from four inches so it's actually three inches and uh, 15 sixteenths of an inch so it's just literally one mark underneath the four inches uh, this is because this will be the internal piece and cutting it ever so slightly smaller means that it will fit nicely inside now what I need to do now I've cut those pieces is score them and the score measurement is one inch so I also have a score blade on this trimmer so I'm just going to use that to score at one inch on all four sides. Something I have noticed with the new trimmer, it feels like you're not scoring at all, but you are. It's um, it's a very effective scoring tool. So I've done the score lines there on the cardstock. I'm going to do exactly the same on the trimmer. So I'm going to go in and score that at one inch on all four sides. Hope everybody's had a really, really lovely weekend. Um, I've had quite a busy weekend with one thing and another. Um, I've spent time today with my team and also Tara Fowler from Tara Fowler Crafting, some of her Stampin' Up! team. We all got together and did some crafting together, which was fabulous. And I did actually make this, this project was one of our little makes and takes that we did because it's always nice when you get together with like-minded people to get your craft on. Now, the next thing we need to make this box is we're going to need four 
two inch circles so this is our two inch circle punch so I'm just going to cut that out of my scraps so I don't know how many I'm going to get out of this square let's see might be able to or oh, almost I can almost get four and because of the fact that part of this is hidden inside I'm not going to worry too much that I've that I've um, got a couple of short pieces there. So I do need to add some score lines to these circles as well. So I need to score those at one inch. So basically I need to score them in half. So what I can do is I can line up my circle with my one inch mark there. Obviously it's a little bit short this side. And then I can score my circle. So I shall do the same with the other. So this one is a whole circle. So you can see there I've put it between the one inch, the two one inch lines and I'm going to score that and number three and finally the last one. So just need to make sure I've got that straight and score that one. So I can now put my trimmer away. I've completely finished with that. So time, time now to fold and burnish those score lines. So it's always good to give score lines a burnish to make sure you've got nice crisp lines. So I've got my bone folder here. So I'm just going to fold along my score lines and then burnish them to make sure they're nice and crisp. There we go. And same with the paper and the cardstock. So this, um, this design is a very basic box design. So you can use this kind of method with various different measurements that you want to actually make up boxes. So it's really, really handy little method to know. So now using my snips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut straight up the rectangle to the, till it meets the score line. Then I'm going to snip in to the square. So I'll just do that first one there I'm going to snip into the square to create little wedges so you see there I've got little wedges cut out then I'm going to cut it 90 degrees and I'm going to do exactly the same thing and the lovely easy thing about this little treat box is you do exactly the same thing on the paper as well so straight up the rectangle and notch into those squares on all four sides so we end up with that kind of shape. So you see you've got notches out of all the squares. I'm going to do exactly the same thing now with the designer series paper. Now this isn't, when you've got a pattern on your paper, it's not always easy to see where the score lines are. So I'm just going to orientate it in the direction where I can see my score lines the best. Um, and I think I can see it very slightly easier on this side. And there we go. Uh, yesterday had a busy old day um, I was catching up with an old work friend so we had a good old natter for a good few hours and um, then also went to the gym so uh, health and fitness is something I've been neglecting a bit over the last few years however times they are a changing and uh, I'm starting to make some little changes there and I must admit I am rather enjoying it so now we've got our designer series paper cut and notched and we've got our cardstock cut and notched so I'm going to use um, snail adhesive for partly for speed for the video but also certainly when you're sticking paper to paper it's good enough so with the designer series paper that's going to be the outside of the box we actually want to add our adhesive to the outside of the flaps because they will become the inside when we fold it together so we fold the flap in and we um, take one edge to meet the other to make the nice corner for our little treat box. So we do that on all four sides. And line them up so we've got some nice square corners. So there's the outside. And for the inside of the box, so the, the cardstock piece is going to form the inside, for neatness, we're going to do that slightly differently. We're actually going to put the adhesive on the inside of the tabs because we're going to stick them to the, we're going to do the opposite thing basically. We're going to stick them to the outside 
because that way when this is tucked inside the other box you won't see the workings and it makes it all very neat obviously this is a very simple little box I've used a two inch circle punch to create the closure but you could create um, use any size you wanted as long as you had something you could do the closure with would need to be a circle because I think if you had an oval it would leave quite a large hole in the middle but you could find something to decorate that with so that little cardboard box is going to fit nice and snugly in there but before we do that we are going to stick the circles on the inside again all of this is going to make sure that all of our workings are hidden and it makes for a I'm just going to rub away that snail so I don't end up sticking anything to it that's the nice thing about snail it's it's almost removable and stick adhesive to the bottom half so I've I've um, chosen those to be the bottom half because that's going to be hidden now what we're going to do is we're actually going to stick this inside the paper part of the box so I'm just going to line that edge up that score line along there and I'm going to put that one in and then I'm going to turn it round a quarter turn and do exactly the same thing again so hopefully you're you're seeing that nice and clearly turn it round again to add the third one and finally our fourth one I'm going to put just a little bit of snail adhesive on the bottom just to hold that in place when I tuck it in so that box now really lovely and snugly <laughs> now we've got the extra tabs and things in there so that fits in there lovely and snugly and then to close it we just go one two three and tuck that one under number four so there we go I'll put pull them back in again so we've got the Rococo Rose we've got Purple Posy we have got a perfect peak no pretty peacock we've got terracotta tile and we've got seaside spray so there's a cute little treat box in all of our ink colours Thank you so much for joining me today. It's brilliant to um, have you watching me. It's great when you give likes and comments. It's very much appreciated. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'll be back next Monday with another Monday video. Thank you. Bye bye.